Hi, I'm Shauna Fishhaber with VA Disability Group. Today we'll be discussing the additional state benefits available to Connecticut veterans who have a 100% rating with the VA, as well as a few other benefits veterans should be aware of. And we understand that navigating all the available options can be overwhelming, and we hope this information will help simplify the process and point you in the right direction to take advantage of these benefits. You can visit our website where we'll have more detailed information regarding eligibility and application processes. We have a link in the description box below. Connecticut has one state veterans home in Rocky Hill. Eligibility is based on clinical need and setting availability. Each state establishes its own eligibility and admission criteria for its homes. Rocky Hill has a residential facility and a skilled care facility. There is an income-based fee, and we recommend that you talk with a VA social worker near you about eligibility requirements and to create a payment plan. Connecticut has three state cemeteries. National burial benefits include a gravesite in any of the VA national cemeteries with available space, opening and closing of the grave, perpetual care, a government headstone marker or medallion, a burial flag, and a presidential memorial certificate at no cost to the family. Burial benefits are available for spouses and dependents as well. Keep in mind that state cemeteries eligibility is similar to national cemeteries, but may include residency requirements. Connecticut offers a unique array of property tax exemptions for homeowners. Some of these benefits can be overlapped or combined in a variety of ways, and we recommend that you work with your local tax assessor to determine which exemptions you qualify for. First is the standard exemption for veterans. Veterans who have 90 days of wartime service, including merchant marines, who served during World War II are eligible for a $1,500 exemption for property tax purposes. This exemption can be applied to either real estate or automobile tax. Certain veterans who do not own real property or a motor vehicle may be eligible for a tax refund if they're leasing a vehicle. There are three levels of additional exemptions that you may qualify for. First is an additional exemption for veterans and disabled veterans who are eligible for the basic exemption and who meet certain income limits. Next is an additional exemption for veterans that do not meet the income limit. And lastly is an increase specifically for veterans with a 100% disability rating and with certain income limits. A municipality may vote to increase the additional exemption from double the basic exemption to triple the amount of the basic exemption for qualifying veterans. Surviving spouses can also receive these tax benefits. If you qualify for any of these exemptions, you should apply between February 1st and October 1st, and if you miss the filing date, you can ask about a filing extension. After approval, refiling is required every two years. In Connecticut, active duty pay is tax-free if you're stationed out of state and provided that you don't own a home in Connecticut or live there for more than 30 days per year. Military retirement pay and survivor benefit plan payments are tax-free as well. We will have links on our website that will direct you to more detailed filing information. If you're seeking state or municipal employment in Connecticut, you may be eligible to have points added to the passing score of your employment exam. Wartime veterans that are not receiving VA compensation receive five additional points. Wartime veterans who are receiving VA compensation will receive 10 additional points on their exam score. The spouse of a qualified veteran may also be eligible for additional points to be added to their employment exam. Military members or veterans within one year of separation who operated military vehicles that would requ require a CDL in the civilian world can skip the skills test portion of a CDL exam. Applicants will need to pass the required knowledge testing. However, the tests are provided with no fee if they meet the eligibility requirements. 
Some veterans are eligible for sales and use tax exemptions for property used exclusively in commercial agricultural production. The waiver is for veterans who never engaged in the practice of farming or have farmed for less than two years. This program is administered by the Connecticut Department of Agriculture, and you can contact them to learn more about eligibility requirements and documentation. Connecticut offers a wide variety of educational benefits to resident veterans and their dependents. It is important to note that state educational benefits can often be used in conjunction with the national benefits, such as the DEA program. If you're interested in learning more about the DEA program, check out our national benefits video. Tuition and fees at state, regional, community, technical colleges, and state universities may be waived for Connecticut resident veterans. The veteran must be honorably discharged and must have served at least 90 days of active duty during a period of war. Veterans that were separated from service earlier due to a VA service-connected disability are also qualified. The veteran's surviving spouse or dependents can also qualify for the tuition waiver if the veteran was killed in action on or after September 11, 2001, or was declared missing in action while serving after January 1, 1960. The fee waiver can cover amounts of tuition that exceeded the benefits received through the post-9-11 Veteran Education Assistance Act. College costs that are not covered by the tuition waiver include books, student activity and course fees, parking, and room and board. The American Council of Education provides service members and veterans with recommendations to convert military service training into equivalent college credit. ACE has developed an online searchable platform containing courses and occupations that have been evaluated dating back to 1954. You can search the ACE Military Guide for courses and occupations using the ACE identification number, the military course number or title, training location, dates completed, or subject and level. Work with your institution to make an informed decision about how to apply these potential credits to your degree. The Wartime Service Bonus is a financial grant awarded to members of the Connecticut National Guard for their service on active duty in support of the global war on terrorism. Current or former Guard members can receive a grant of $50 for every month they served on active duty. The award is up to $500 for non-combat service and $1,200 for service in a combat zone. To be eligible, the service member must be a current or former member of the Connecticut National Guard. Their period of active duty service must have been on or after September 11, 2001 for 90 consecutive days or greater as a member of the reserve component of the U.S. Armed Forces. Lastly, they must have been mobilized in support of a military operation such as Operation Enduring Freedom. The Board of Regents for Higher Learning can provide a grant for tuition and fees at approved institutions of learning to the dependent children of qualified veterans. The grant is awarded based on need and the maximum benefits is $400 per year for each dependent. The grant can be used at institutions of higher learning or for commercial training, state college, technical education, career school, and technical institutions also accept the grant. If the dependent is preparing to enter one of the military academies, the grant can also be used at any accredited military prep school. The student must be between the ages of 16 and 23 and have applied for FAFSA. The veteran must have been a Connecticut resident at the time of their induction or re-enlistment. And one of the following criteria must also be true. So the veteran was either killed in action, died due to an accident or illness sustained on active duty service, or is rated with the VA as permanently and totally disabled, or was determined to be MIA during Vietnam. Contact the campus VA official for assistance with filing for this grant. A free lifetime pass to all Connecticut State Parks is available to resident veterans with a service-connected disability. 
The pass allows veterans free entrance into the parks. The pass can only be used by the veteran and is not transferable. All other visitors will be required to pay the appropriate fees. The pass does not apply for additional fees associated with camping or special events and may not be used for commercial purposes. The pass can be obtained in person at any of the parks or by mail, and we have the links on our website. Thank you so much for joining me to discuss the ancillary benefits for disabled Connecticut veterans. You can check out the description box below for helpful links and to access other tools on our website.